Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and they just confirmed some big news for The Flash Season 2. So, as you all know, and just warning right here, major spoilers for The Flash Season Finale. 3, 2, 1, click off this video, because from one Flash fan to another, you if you haven't seen The Flash Finale, don't watch this video. It's The Flash Season Finale was big. Alright, now we got that all out of the way. So, right here, it's been confirmed by multiple sources that they have it, the Patty Spivat character for The Flash planned as a major character for The Flash Season 2 and to become Joe's new partner. So, a lot, this confirms a lot. That's, it's just, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot of information, but this is big. So, I'm going to talk about the Patty Spivak character in just a minute, um, but right now I want to start off with some big things that come from this announcement. And number one, just last week it was said by, you know, and confirmed by multiple sources that the Flash creators, Mark Guggenheim, Greg Berlanti, they were planning on bringing on a new love interest for Barry and somebody who is going to work closely with Star Labs and eventually become part of the Flash team, or Team Flash, whatever you want to call it, and, and supposedly eventually end up taking uh, Caitlyn's role after she becomes Killer Frost because it has been confirmed by um, uh, Daniela Patabaker in a interview with Tiffany Smith. You can go check that out, that interview with the Flash cast on DC and, you know, the DC Comics channel. It was part of DC All Access. And she, uh, Daniel Pettibaker, was saying that Killer Frost is coming next season, for sure. And, you know, there, I don't really need to talk about Killer Frost now, but the point is that, you know, Caitlyn will eventually not be... She'll be a main cast member, but she'll be, like, a main, like, villain. And somebody, uh, like, a main villain that will be carried out through multiple, multiple seasons, probably until The Flash ends, or Caitlyn's character dies. So, you can see how they would need a new female, you know, smart kind of person who, not that Iris isn't smart, but more like somebody who can fit into the Star Labs team. So, that character was supposed to be named Wendy, although it was said that Wendy was sort of just a stage name. Now, um, you know, there's only a couple characters that can fit, like, a kind of, you know, that kind of Star Labs spunky, fun, you know, young, kind of somebody who can play off of Cisco a bit, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that was, like, a bit of kind of the description. But now it has been said because they were casting or, you know, they were doing auditions for this new character. It was said by multiple sources that this new character is going to be Patty Spiva. So this is big. Now, if you read some of the new, I mean, right now, DC Comics Universe, they're transitioning away from the new 52 and right into their new DC Comics Universe, you know, somewhat rebooted. And somewhat, not, you know, not 100%, but somewhat. And they're calling it the DCU. So they're not really the New 52 anymore. But if you read some of the Flash, um, you know, the, the first Flash comics from the New 52 from, like, 2011, um, you will see that, you know, Patty Spivet, she, you know, is in, like, the first seven, or at least in the first issue. And she's a lot of fun because... You know, the two of them can just hang out, and, you know, they'll be like, oh, Captain Sai needs us to go do this, you know, we gotta go head back to the station. She was, like, a close friend, a very, very close friend of Barry, and, you know, like, kind of like Iris, you know, how Iris and him went to the particle accelerator demonstration and everything together. They'd go to stuff like that together, and then they got, they'd be like, oh, you know... Sai needs us back at the station, we gotta go, and then Barry would be like, oh crap, and she'd be like, yeah, we gotta go back now, and he's like, okay, and it'd be like they had like a friend relationship, and they, you know, but it would, it's cool because they both worked at the station, so of course you can see how it'd be important for them to incorporate this kind of character. Now, if Iris is mourning over Eddie's death, that means two things. Iris is not going to be in the market for a new BF. 
So she is going to probably be mourning over his death, being sad, probably maybe going through something with like Laurel did in season two, trying to find herself, you know, trying to, um, I don't know, do something, probably not drugs or alcohol or probably none of that, you know. But she's probably going to, maybe she'll go on a journey, try to find herself, who, who knows, you know. Maybe she'll, you know, go to a different city. Maybe we'll get the, some more crossover stuff. Maybe she goes to Coast City and she meets Oliver and Felicity. Who, who, who knows what's going to happen with her. But she's not going to probably be with Barry in the season, um, you know, at least until like halfway through the season. Like mid-season finale, maybe they hook up. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But, of course, you can see how that's a big deal. Because you need romance in a show like this. Because, you know, first of all, it lightens the mood and tone. Now, when it gets dark. Now, if you have a show like Arrow Season 3, where it was dark as hell. It was dark, you know? It was an awesome show, but it was one of the darker stories that they've done through the three seasons of Arrow. And that show is significantly darker than The Flash. You know, darker tone, that's what I mean. But, um... You know, it was just a really deep, dark story. So, of course, it was important where they had this big, all this romance stuff. You know, how Nissa was mad at Oliver and, um, you know, because she, he, or she thought that he killed Sarah and she loved Sarah. You know, there's that romance element there. Then there's the whole thing with Malcolm because Malcolm... You know, his wife died, he went to become part of the League of Assassins. You know, Laurel's now become the Black Canary because of her sister, and she loved her sister, and her sister died, and, and all of this was really revolved around Sarah this season. It was. And, you know, then you have the whole Oliver and Felicity thing, and should they be together or should they not be together? And then should Felicity be with Ray and all that stuff? So you have to have romance to one light in the mood, and the second thing is to appease that certain group of fans who really enjoy, you know, like that kind of romantic comedy stuff, but then they're also into this comic book genre, and they have to sort of merge those two together to get that other kind of crowd. And honestly, I think any comic book fan would be excited to see some sort of some romance, you know, on the screen, just to sort of take the story in a different direction and make it a little bit bigger. They have to do that. So if Iris is out of the, you know, the question as of now, then you have to bring in a new character. So of course, Patty Spivat would be perfect. Now, if Patty Spivat is this Wendy character, you know, Wendy was just a placeholder name, then they can go ahead and make this a romantic relationship. Hopefully it starts out with a friend-like relationship, um, but I'm really hoping it's going to be cool. Now, the thing is, if you look at Smallville, we all knew that Lois and Clark would eventually end up together. You know, of course, Clark's journey started where he was in love with Lana, and, you know, all the Lana stuff, and eventually he got over Lana, and then Lex married Lana for a short period of time, and, you know, then Lana, Lana was gone, you know, so... There was all that stuff that we all knew, and you know, in 10 years, you'll be married to Lois Lane. And then there was that whole thing with Green Arrow dating, or Oliver Queen dating Lois Lane for a long time. And they had a very serious relationship, and it was all of this back and forth. But at the end, we knew that Lois and Clark would get together and get married. So, as of right now, we know for a fact that Barry... You know, assuming everything stays on track with this timeline, which whatever happens, whatever Barry goes through, whatever challenges, we know that right now he's on the track to marry Iris. Now, we don't know when, we don't know how, you know, it could be in, it's said in 2024, but it could have been a couple years before. Honestly, all those details don't exactly matter. But, you know, we know they will end up together, so I think it's okay if they experiment you know, obviously Barry can't be just waiting for Iris. Come on. He's in his 20s. He wants to live. So go out. And then, you know, he, he'll date maybe Patty Spivak for a little bit. And then maybe she'll die. Or maybe she'll go to a different, you know, police department. The, new, the other big news is that this means that, you know, Joe will have a new partner. 
Patty Spivot is supposed to be Joe's new partner. That was the big deal. Now, what does this confirm? Oh, well, well, all right, so Central City is going through hell right now. There's this big tornado-ish wormhole thing that's sucking people in. All right, people are running, buildings are destroyed, all of this is going on. Barry has just ran into it, probably going to Earth 2. And, you know, you've got the rest of the team down below wondering what the hell is going to happen next. Okay, well, we know by this confirmation that eventually the wormhole will close, that Barry will most likely come down, either by himself or with another four flashes. It doesn't exactly matter, but he will come back, the wormhole will close, and Central City will somehow come back and settle a little bit. You know, of course, the city is going to be destroyed, and that's going to be a big factor throughout the season, you know, repairing and rebuilding the city, you know, be, you know, gaining trust, how to deal with all these deaths and all this, you know, how to get start back with our regular lives, but this confirms that that will happen. It's not like we're going to be, be seeing a dystopia kind of central city throughout the whole, you know, season. We're just not so... This, this confirms that eventually the police department will come back together as a whole. Assuming Sai is not dead, he will once again become part of the... He'll lead the police station. Eddie's gone now, unless he comes back as Cobalt Blue, which is a long run. But, you know, it's possibility, in a, you know, from a different Earth or something. But... If we do see another Eddie from a different Earth, and if he's Cobalt Blue or whatever, he's not going to be the same Eddie. He's not going to be in love with Iris, probably. And he is not going to be Joe's partner. So Joe's got to find a replacement partner. That's not temporary. And that's going to be Patty Spivot. So it works out perfectly. It confirms that we will get to a better time eventually. Maybe Grodd will be a big antagonist. Um, I don't, I really don't know at this point, but there's just so much to happen, so much that's gonna be so much fun, cannot wait. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the introduction and coming of Patty Steva, and are you excited for this character? Are you not so excited for this character? And, um, if you want a whole lot of information on this, I, did, I know I didn't do a big backstory, I might eventually do that, but, um, you know... If you want a lot of background and detail on this character, go over to Charlie's um, YouTube page, Emergency Awesome. I'm sure a lot of you guys already subscribed to him, so you may have already seen the video. But um, he did a big explaining video on Patty Spivot and, uh, and The Flash Season 2. So I think he did that video a week or two ago. So if you want more background detail on that character, make sure you go check that out if you haven't already seen it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click, share, like, subscribe. I'll be doing reviews all next season on, you know, The Flash Season 2. And this whole summer I'll be doing more big videos talking about more of these characters in depth. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.